Good Super Sunday morning, Bethlehem and saints of God. I want to thank you for joining us in our virtual church service, what I call Cyber Church. I want to welcome you for to the service this morning. And also, my name is Pastor Michael E. Tan, and I do serve here at the Bethlehem Baptist Church here in Pauls Valley, Oklahoma at 311 North Dunbar. And I have to let you know, we would love to see you in the service, but we are in our COVID-19 safety protocols. We're not meeting in the sanctuary. And but when our time is up, we look forward to meeting again here in the sanctuary at Bethlehem Baptist Church. I did say that it was Super Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. And I pray that you will have a blessed time today in the festivities. I pray that you watched the last night, the gospel, the Super Bowl gospel celebration. They do it every year. Uh, you may be able to catch reruns on BET. But many people will be focused on this place, Tampa Bay. And I don't know, Bethlehem, whether you have a dog in the fight, uh, whether you are rooting for the goat or someone who's calling the baby goat, uh, but I pray that you will have a best time today as we have a little fun in Jesus' name. I want to thank you, Bethlehem, for joining us in Sunday school. We always have an excellent time in Sunday school. And I want to always challenge you to stay connected to us here at Bethlehem Baptist Church. I want to thank you for being a part of this virtual service. I want to encourage you to be a part of Wednesday's uh, Zoom Bible study and to continue to be a part of uh, our, our uh, Sunday, Sunday school, Zoom Sunday school. Before we get into the message this morning, I pray that you had an opportunity to listen to the first message in my series entitled Planet. And this message was called Horticulture for COVID Time. Horticulture for COVID Times. If you didn't get that, it's been sent down in the pastor's uh, text as well as on our Facebook page. And also before we get into text today, I want to thank those who continue to give. Uh, three ways to give here at the Bethlehem Baptist Church. You can give in the sanctuary as a place or out. You can give through snail mail at our P.O. Box, Bethlehem Baptist Church, P.O. Box 563, Paul's Valley, Oklahoma. Or you can visit our website at www.heargodsword at Bethlehem.com. And you can give that way. We want to thank you for your continued giving. And we believe that God is blessing us as a church as we continue to serve him, even in an uncertain time like this time, we continue to give and God continues to bless. I did start this new series on uh, Wednesday entitled Planet, entitled Planet. When we're standing on the word of Jeremiah 17, verses 7 through 8, where God challenges us to trust in him. And he says, when he, when we trust in him, we will be like the picture of this tree that's planted by the waters whose roots go down and who will never fear the heat, never fear drought, never, never fear the elements and will be fruitful at all times. And I couldn't help but to uh, desire that that's the kind of church and kind of people that we will be. Uh, here at the Bethlehem Baptist Church, of uh, people who are planted, even in an uncertain time, that we're planted in the things of God. So I want to challenge you to keep up in and with this series as we are determining to be planted in the things of God. We are determined and know that if we're planted in the things of God, that God can even bless us in uncertain times like this time in Jesus' name. So the question is, Bethlehem, will you be planted? Will you be planted? That's our verse for the month, Jeremiah 17 and 
seven through eight. Today, in this series, the second sermon in this series is entitled The Encouragement of Horniculture for Pandemic Times. The Encouragement uh, of Horniculture in Pandemic Times. We're going to be looking at uh, Isaiah 61, verse 3. Isaiah 61, verse 3. And let me read that in your hearing, Bethlehem. Uh, it reads as following. To console the mourners in Zion, to give them a crown of beauty for ashes, the all of joy for mourning, a garment of praise for a spirit of despair so that they will be called oaks of righteousness. So that they will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting, hello series, the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. I read to you this wonderful and amazing text, Isaiah 61. Uh, through uh, 61 and 3. May God have a blessing to the hearers and doers of his holy and amazing word. This morning again, we're going to share on this Super Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, the encouragement of horniculture for pandemic times. The encouragement for horniculture, of horniculture for pandemic times. First thing we're going to look at in the text, point number one, three movements, point number one, Comfort for the criers, uh, comeliness for the charcoal, and clinging for the creator. Again, we want to comfort the criers, comeliness or beauty for the charcoal or ashes, and we want clinging for the creator, us being planted in the creator. Our thesis today, or what I'm trying to communicate in this message, Bethlehem and saints of God, is that Christians should cling to God in the pandemic times. Christians should cling to God in pandemic times. We're going to look at this brief video. One of my favorite songs from a while back by Crystal Lewis, entitled Beauty for Ashes. Gives beauty for ashes, strength for fear, gladness for mourning, peace for despair. He gives beauty for ashes, strength for fear, gladness for mourning, peace for despair. When sorrow sees. To surround you when suffering hangs heavy on your head. Know that tomorrow brings wholeness and healing. God knows your need, just believe what you say. He gives beauty for ashes, strength for fear, gladness for He gives beauty for ashes, strength for fear, gladness for mourning, peace for despair. When what you've done keeps you from moving, when fear wants to make itself at home in your heart, know that forgiveness brings wholeness and healing. Praise the 
Lord talking about this morning, the encouragement of horticulture in pandemic times. Talking about horticulture because we're standing on a text that talks about being planted, being planted. Undoubtedly, this text that we're looking for is a providential text for us today. It is a providential text for us today because of the pandemic. We have lost over 150,000 folk as a result of COVID-19. And I can't help but think that that represents because these people came from families that could easily represent three times as much as those who are mourning in America because of the death of their loved ones. I can imagine that there has been no other time that we are aware of within this period of time of COVID where so many people have died and so many people are mourning at the same time and somebody listening at the sound of my voice may be mourning the death of a loved one as we think about the Peters family and the loss of Cheryl Peters, as we think about, uh, oh, Dr. Whitlow and the loss uh, in his family, as we think about others, uh, our dear friend, Brother Melvin, who used to pastor there in Davis. Uh, oh, there have been many who have died uh, Oh, that we know of personally. And uh, oh, there are many folks today at the sound of my voice uh, who are mourning the deaths uh, of their loved ones, uh, are mourning the kind of deaths uh, to which life uh, would never be the same, mourning the death uh, of mama and mourning the death uh, of father, mourning the death of sister and brother mourning the death of their children. Oh, and what can we do at a time of so much mourning, at a time of so much loss? What can we say, oh, to those, oh, who have lost loved ones like Mantra, oh, who've lost loved ones in the neighborhood, in the community? What do we say? Oh, for those that are mourning at a time such as this, God has a word for you today. God want to send comfort for the criers. Uh, it says to console the mourners in Zion, to console uh, the mourners in Zion. God has uh, the power to console those, uh, every uh, 450,000 of those uh, who are mourning today. God says uh, on the Super Sunday, but I've got super, oh, consolation. I I've got super comfort for those uh, who needs comforting uh, for such a time as this. Uh, oh, God says uh, that he's going to send uh, his comfort for those who are mourning in Jesus' name. Uh, are you listening at the sound of my voice? Uh, and you've been crying all night long. God says weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And God is saying it's morning time, not morning time. It's morning time. And it's time for you to feel the joy of the Lord. As Nehemiah said, oh, let the joy of the Lord be a strength. Don't 
mourn anymore, but let uh, the joy of the Lord be your strength. Uh, drink sweet street, uh, sweet drink, uh, and, and eat a good meal, and let uh, the joy of the Lord uh, be your strength. Uh, and I'm believing, and I'm praying, uh, and I'm fasting and praying uh, that the Lord will enable you uh, to allow the joy of the Lord uh, to be your strength uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, because Psalms uh, 34 and 18 says, uh, the Lord is close uh, to the broken heart uh, and save those uh, that are crushed uh, in spirit. Uh, the text says, uh, the Lord is close uh, to the broken heart. Uh, don't allow the devil to make you think that you're all alone. Uh, don't allow the devil to make you think uh, that there is no hope. Uh, don't allow the devil to take all of your faith. Uh, God says, uh, in a time of your broken spirit, uh, God says, uh, in a time of mourning in Zion, uh, God says, uh, in a time of broken heartedness, uh, miss, uh, I'm not getting further from you. I'm getting closer to you because I'm close uh, to the broken hearted. Uh, is there anybody here ever been broken hearted? Is there anybody here that is broken hearted? Uh, I can remember when I lost uh, my 18 year old cousin who was murdered uh, in an East Dallas apartment. Uh, I can remember, uh, I think I was about 21. Uh, this was the worst death for me because uh, nobody my age uh, had ever died. Uh, and when I thought about her, uh, I cried. Uh, oh, for the first month when I thought about her, I cried for the second month when I thought about her, I cried for the third month for six months straight. Uh, I was mourning uh, for six months straight. Uh, I had a broken heart uh, for six months straight. Uh, I was broken in spirit uh, because I had lost uh, oh my cousin by the name of the nature's uh, we called a nene. Uh, oh, but when I found out uh, after the six months uh, was up, uh, what I found out uh, is that I was closer uh, to the Lord, not further from the Lord. Uh, what I found out uh, was God. God, uh, was close uh, to my broken heart uh, and God saved me from my crushed spirit uh, and know to know there are others uh, who are crushed uh, there are others at the sound of my voice uh, who have a broke a broke uh, oh, a broken heart God says uh, oh I'm going to touch uh, God says uh, I'm going to minister to you God says uh, you're going to look up uh, and see that we are close uh, than we ever been before. This is a time uh, in our nation to get closer to God uh, than we've ever been before. And on this Super Bowl Sunday, I got to let you know about a God by the name uh, of Jesus. Uh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him uh, shall not perish but have uh, everlasting life. Uh, and you're mourning right now without the help uh, of God. And what you need to do uh, is accept uh, Jesus Christ uh, as your Lord and saint. Uh, I'm talking to those uh, 150,000 folk uh, who do not know God. Uh, you have to believe uh, that Jesus uh, was God's only son. Uh, you've got to believe uh, that he died for your sins uh, and was buried uh, and raised again on the third day. Uh, you've got to believe uh, oh, in the Lord Jesus Christ uh, so that you can be saved. Uh, and when you get saved, uh, oh, you'll have him there with you. Oh, with your crushed heart uh, and crushed spirit. Uh, 
Oh, he'll be there with you to minister to you in a time such as this. Oh, who knows whether he wants this loss to get your attention, this loss to put you in a place where you're open to God, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved from your sins. But not only that, but saved, as the text says, from your crushed spirit. Oh, you're tired of being sick and tired of your tired of crying yourself to sleep and waking up in the middle of the night are you tired uh, of being sick and tired God says uh, he saves those who are crushed uh, in spirit uh, and that he's close uh, to the broken hearted uh, and he's reaching out to you right now uh, in Jesus name in Jesus name he has comfort for the criers but not only that as we move to point number two, a movement two in the text, in the message today entitled Encouragement of Honoriculture for Pandemic Times, being planted in God, being planted in the Lord, commonness of the charcoal, or as the song was saying, beauty for ash. It says here that to give them a crown of beauty for ash. To give them a crown of beauty to ashes. And I thought about this. When I thought about, oh, 2020. Because in 2020, not only were we dealing with COVID times and had to mourn the deaths uh, of our loved ones, but uh, also in 2020, we heard about uh, the fires in California. We heard about uh, the fires uh, oh, in Colorado. We heard about uh, the fires that were literally burning uh, oh, the world up. We heard about uh, global warming. Uh, who seemed to think that because uh, of global warming, there was fires. Uh, oh, and because of global warning, warning, oh, we thought, uh, oh, Oh, there were storms, uh, uh, a counting of storms uh, like never before fires, uh, like never before floods, uh, like never before. But the thing about the fire, oh, is that uh, there is nothing left. Uh, when we heard about 9-11, uh, we heard about uh, all of those heroes uh, that went down to uh, help save those uh, oh, who are in that building. But one of the things uh, that most of the rescuers uh, oh, couldn't understand was, uh, is was that there were no uh, survivors. Uh, there were no survivors because of the fire. And the fire turned everything into ash, including the people. Oh, and in Cali Colorado, oh, there's nothing but ash. Uh, oh, in, Ca in California, there was nothing left uh, but ash, folk lost. Uh, everything and that way uh, they went back to their homes uh, and they found nothing but ass uh, and they found uh, their life was over they lost everything uh, but I'm so glad uh, that our God says uh, when you're at a point uh, in your life uh, where you lost everything uh, and you don't have nothing but ass uh, God says uh, he has the power to turn beauty from ashes uh, in Jesus' name, uh, beauty uh, from ashes. Uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, and what you don't know about horticulture, uh, they say that they need uh, those fires uh, because those fires actually is conditioning the soil. Uh, and once the soil gets uh, conditioned, uh, oh, the crime will be fruitful uh, than ever before. Horticulture, I've been encouraged before. Pandemic time, God says. Uh, Oh, I'm just uh, conditioning your soul. Uh, God says, uh, all I'm doing is getting you ready for your blessing, ready for your miracles, uh, ready for your comeback. Uh, on Super Bowl Sunday, God is saying that he's going to be a super God uh, who has the ability to turn beauty from ashes, uh, to take everything that you 
the lost. In the New Testament, it says in Romans 8, 28, for we know that all things God works for the good for those that love him who have been called according to his purpose. He says, I can make beauty from your ashes. I can work you losing everything together for my good because you love me and are called according to my purpose. And again, I have to stop on this Super Bowl Sunday because I want some super fruit to happen. I've got to stop and let you know if you don't call Jesus your Lord and Savior, you are in it alone. You're in the morning and the lost by yourself. You're in the loss all by yourself. And I tell you again, you don't have to be by yourself. Oh, you don't have to lose it all by yourself. Give your life to Jesus Christ. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ today and he can make beauty from your ashes, from your losses, from your mourning, from your depression, from your suicidal thoughts, oh, from the loss of a job, the loss of a marriage, oh, from you almost losing your mind, up in here, up in here, ah, says uh, that he can work all things uh, together for your good uh, in Jesus' name uh, because you are called uh, according to his purpose. Uh, Bethlehem are your called uh, according to your purpose, his purpose. Uh, and if you are, uh, just wait uh, for God to work it out uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, I said, just wait. For God to work it out in Jesus' name on this Super Sunday. We look for a super God to work it out in Jesus' name to turn beauty from ashes in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Talking about today the encouragement of horticulture, of being planted. In the Lord. You see that encouragement of being planted uh, in the Lord in the text today. That's encouragement. Uh Oh, for you being planted. And that's why you got to cling to the creator. You have to be planted. The text says the planning of the Lord that he may be glorified. Oh, you're planted. Oh, in the Lord so that he may be glorified. Oh, you're planted in the Lord when you lost your job. You're planted in the Lord. Lord, when you got sick with COVID, the planet in the Lord, when your loved one died of COVID, oh, your planet in the Lord, oh, when your marriage fails, your planet in the Lord, oh, when your game stops. Oh, stock. Oh, went down. It's a game stock. Uh, stock went up all the way up to $500 a stock. Oh, it went down. Oh, making millionaires, but it went down. Oh, to $90. And there were some who lost. Oh, it all. They were millionaires and they lost. Oh, millions. And somebody listened at the sound of my voice. And you love the Lord, and you gain it all because you are planted in the Lord, and you lost it all, but you are planted in the Lord. You see, when you're planted in the Lord, oh, it says you trust in Him, and He trusts in you. Oh, I said for a wish, oh, that your faith in God becomes one with God. 
And when that happens, you're like a tree that's planted. Oh, a tree that's planted by the waters in your root go out. Oh, for nourishment. Oh, are you clinging to the creator today? Are you planted in the Lord? Are your roots going out to the creator? Are you clinging to the creator? Oh, when you cling to the creator, there is hope. He'll work it all together. He'll make beauty for ashes. He'll give comfort for the morning. He is our God. And he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above anything you can ask or anything you can imagine on this Super Sunday. In Jesus' name, be served a super God. In Jesus' name. Yeah, this text on Wednesday night, Psalms 1 in 3. It says that he is like a tree planted by the streams of water. Hello. Oh, Jeremiah 17 and 7 and 8. Oh, trusting in the Lord. Oh, you'll be like this tree that's planted. Oh, by those streams of water. And what does it do? It yields its fruit in season. Oh, it yields its fruit in season. Whose lack, oh, whose leaves does not wither and who will prosper in all that it does. God says you can get encouragement from Hunter Carter this morning because you're planted in the Lord. And when you're planted in the Lord, you don't have to worry about droughts. When you're planted in the Lord, you don't have to worry about the heat. When you're planted in the Lord, you don't have to worry about pandemic times, about losing the ones that you love uh, about losing everything uh, that you have. Uh, you don't have to worry because uh, the Bible says uh, that it's your season uh, oh, to be blessed. Uh, when you're planted in the Lord, uh, it's your season uh, to be blessed. Uh, but the Bible says uh, that you'll yield uh, your fruit uh, in season. And God is saying to somebody today, uh, I hope he's saying it uh, to me uh, that it's my season to be blessed. Uh, I'm about to be blessed. Uh, you're about to be blessed. Uh, it's your season uh, because your planet uh, in the Lord. Uh, the devil thought uh, he had uh, He tried to take your life uh, so you couldn't reach uh, your season. Uh, somebody, oh, in the Super Bowl, uh, it's going to be that season. Uh, oh, whether it is uh, Kansas City or oh, whether it is uh, Tampa Bay, uh, somebody's uh, going to win the game. Uh, and when they win the game, uh, it's going to be uh, that season. Uh, oh, to be blessed uh, as a Super Bowl winner. Uh, in Jesus' name, uh, oh, stop watching the game uh, and watch God uh, for your season. Uh, Oh, I said, oh, today, don't only watch the game. You better watch for God for your season. Oh, for God says in his word today that it's your season. Oh, to be blessed. Oh, fruit in season. Leaves does not wither and will prosper in all that he does. What are you doing? God says it's about to be blessed. Blessed. Your church is about to be blessed. Your message is about to be blessed. Your marriage is about to be blessed. Oh, your job is about to be blessed. It's your season in Jesus' name. I wish the folk were here today because I tell you, say to your neighbor, neighbor, oh, neighbor, it's your season. Why don't you do it right? Right now, in your home, look at your mates and say, it's your seat. Look at your mates, look at your children and say, it's your seat to be blessed. Regardless of pandemic times, it's your seat to be blessed.
Yesa on the Super Bowl, Super Sunday. In Jesus' name, it's my season. Oh, to be blessed because I'm planted. I said, I'm planted in the Lord. And I take encouragement of partner culture. Oh, for pandemic times. I don't care that it's a pandemic time. It's my season. It's my season. To be blessed in Jesus' name. I'm about to win the ring. Hello, somebody. In Jesus' name. I'm about to go down in history. In Jesus' name. Oh, I'm the baby goat. In Jesus' name. Oh, I'm the coach. In Jesus' name, the goat means for those sports fans that those are not sports fans. It means greatest uh, of all time. Uh, oh, it's your season. You better take this word and apply it to your life. This Super Bowl Sunday, this Super Sunday, in Jesus' name, you better determine that, hey, they ain't the only one on the field. I've been serving the Lord. For a long time, I, I'm on the field, and, and it's my season, and I'm about to win. I'm about to win the ring in Jesus' name. I want to thank you, Bethlehem, for joining us today on this Super Sunday. And I want to conclude, like I started, Christians should plant their faith in God. In COVID times. Christians should plant their faith in God. This whole message I've been appealing to those that may not know God. And I'm going to say it again. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That was Jesus Christ. That whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You see, on today's decision, the first point is accept Jesus. You've got to believe that Jesus was God's only son, that he died for your sins and was buried for your sins and raised again on the third day. You can believe. And Jesus, was God's only son, died for your sins, was buried and raised again on the third day. And today, this Super Sunday, you can be saved. And you getting saved today will start your season. We've talked about it's your season. Start your season with the Lord. Pray this simple prayer. Dear Lord Jesus. Come into my heart, come into my mind as my Lord and Savior. I accept you today. I believe in you today. And I give my life over to you. You may work your work in me, that I might work for you for all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, you see the second decision is to be baptized. You pray that prayer for the first time. You must be baptized. If you're anywhere near Paul's Valley, Oklahoma, we want to see you here at the Bethlehem Baptist Church when we reopen our sanctuary. After I finish preaching on that Sunday when you come, you need to come down and let me know that you pray to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and that you need to be baptized. And if you are in Paul's Valley, the Garvin County area, and you pray that prayer and you are baptized, you will become a member of what I like to say, a disciple of Jesus Christ at this church, 311 North Dunbar. Let's see your face in the place. Pray that prayer for the first time. Visit our website, www.heargodsword at Bethlehem.com. Hear God's word at Bethlehem.com. Go and fill the visitor's tag in that visitor's tag. Let me know and give me a way to contact you. If you've accepted Jesus Christ, I'd like to give you a call. And if you're listening 
somewhere outside of Paul's Valley in Garvin County in America, uh, do the same thing. Fill that form out. We're trying to find you a church you need after you pray this prayer. Accept Jesus. You need a church home. You cannot be a Christian on your own, all alone. You have to connect to a body near you. Uh, fill out that form and we do that for you. Also, other decisions today, ask for prayer in that form. I pray that you rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. If you're listening, God touch you and you know that you fall short in your faith and in the, you, you're not planning. You've been talking about. You're not planted in the Lord. You're not trusting in the Lord like you should. Rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. Somebody's listening at the sound of my voice. You may need to accept your call. Preach the gospel. That's today's decision. Once again, uh, Bethlehem, I want to thank you for joining me. Thank, uh, running a, a bit over. But we want to thank you for being a part of us on this Super Sunday. We pray that you have a blessed uh, rest of the day. I, I pray that your team wins. If you remember, it's your season, Bethlehem. God says you can win too because you have been planted. Let me go ahead and get the benediction. Father God, we thank you, we praise you, we glorify your holy name. You are truly worthy to be praised. Put your heads of protection around us. Keep us safe from our harm and danger. Enable us to live out our season to be blessed. In Jesus' name, and the people of God said, amen. And look over to your neighbor and said, neighbor, it's your season. It's your time. It's time for you to be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Bethlehem, and say to God, God bless you and keep you is my prayer.